back from the dead. <laughs> Hey there, Hunters. Hollow Hunter here with another TCG opening for you guys. And I have a really interesting, kind of cool one that we're going to be doing today. So today, I am going to be doing a pack battle. Now, pack battle doesn't sound too special, right? Well, this time it is going to be pretty cool because I'm going to be using this right here. We have this box of Ultra Dimensional Beasts. And I'm not going to be using the entire box. I am only going to take out five packs from the box. I will be doing an opening with the rest of the box, so the other 25 packs that come in here. There are 30 in total. But I didn't want to spoil this battle too much because whatever I take out of here and I don't pull anything from the box, then maybe there would be something in the pack battle and vice versa, of course. But it's a lot easier to spoil a five pack battle than a 25 pack opening. So let's take a quick look at the box here. I will do this again in the pack opening, but see this symbol here? This means there's a guaranteed full art in this set. The battle is going to be against, I'm gonna say this and I hope I get it correctly, Duro Bazaru, who lives in Japan. Now she's not Japanese, she's actually, I'm having trouble here. She's actually Canadian. And if you haven't seen her channel, you have missed out. It is so much fun. Do check out her channel. We are doing a points system, but you know, to see who wins, seriously, check out her channel. Absolutely amazing stuff. She uses an adorable Pikachu to talk to you guys, and then she opens up Japanese products. What more could you want? It's amazing. Get a taste of Japan there. And uh, yeah, I figured, hey, let's do a pack battle with some Japanese packs against somebody who lives in Japan. So I'm gonna shuffle these up a bit. Make sure that whatever we get is really, really random. I know that's always random, but you know, whatever. Just make sure this pack battle goes as random as possible because she has five packs left. She's already opened up the full boxes. So she has some packs that she just got from uh, Pokemon Center in town because you can do that in Japan, of course. And uh, yeah, so she's gonna have five packs of Ultra Dimensional Beasts and I'm gonna have five packs. I'm gonna do two from this side, I'm gonna do two from the other stack, and I'm gonna do this one right here from the end. So the other packs are gonna go back in this box. And I will open up those packs in a 25 pack opening. This should be interesting. We may get absolutely nothing. It's just five packs. Chances are we can pull something, but the point system is gonna be a little interesting as well because what we're gonna do, for the points, we're gonna have one point for a rare, and you'll know a rare when you see it because it's a holographic card. Uh, we're gonna have two points for a rare rare, which are what we call the ultra rare, so just a normal GX. We're gonna have three points for a super rare, which means a full art, and we're gonna have five points for a hyper rare. So we're going three to five. I got my little phone here set up with a point system, and if either of us pulls the hyper rare guzzlord this guy right here you win because that is probably one of the rarest cards in the set uh, i would say lucimine maybe a little more rare i'm not sure i know she's very valuable and of course you have your secret rares but we figured hey buddy you're the mascot of the set and if you're coming out all shiny and glossy and rainbowy you win so good luck to doro bazaru and let's do this be sure to check her out, really cool. I have so much fun talking to her on Twitter, and I have even more fun watching the videos on her channel. So, one to the front, and we're gonna start this off with, oh, some of these I'm not gonna know the names of. Fortunately, this one I know the name of, and I cannot wait for it to come out in English. And keep in mind, this is going to be Crimson Invasion soon. This is Miss Magius with a Chaos Wheel attack. That's amazing. And we got a Mischievous right behind it. And we have a Dino, a Shelmet, and boom, right off the bat, we get some points. Yes, we've got the Gyarados GX. So that would be three, no, yes, three points, because it, sorry, no, this is two points, because it's an RR. You can see it right here. Oh, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can get this to focus for you guys. It doesn't want to, I'm a bit too close to the screen. Oh, there you can see it, it says. RR. So that means it is an ultra rare in English standards. 
Awesome. Gyarados. Very cool. Um, I'm really hoping the full art in here is not Gyarados. <laughs> or, actually, no, I'm really hoping it's not a little in Executor. As much as I like the normal art of that card, I really don't like the full art. I would like my full art to be Lucimine. <laughs> I actually won a, an auction recently on Nothen, I think dot com, which goes through the Japanese auction house, and I won a, an auction for Lucimine. So you'll be seeing that soon here on the channel. Okay, is this in focus? Sorry, guys. I just can't see from that distance. There you go. Okay, so we have a Zvylos, Mankey, a Piloswine, yes, Jengmo, oh, and look, a, a hollow rare. We have a Regice. Very cool. So that's another point on the board. So we're at three points, guys. Three point battle. Japanese really bring in the points, don't they? Not as much, like, it's not as high of a point rate as you're going to get in English because there's no reverse. Hence, the hollows are just for one point. But still, wow, did I mix that up well or what? Here we have an Oranguru, Stuffle, Weedle. Oh, I know you. You are, let's see, you go from Spoink to uh, Grumpig. This is Grumpig. Fantastic. And we have an Altaria non-hollow. So that would be an uncommon card. Yeah. Which could very possibly be one of the kind of non-hollow rares in English. Happens very often. An uncommon card in Japanese usually equals a rare in English. Except for the trainers, of course. It would be interesting if we got trainers like this that were rare again. This is counter energy, and this is a really cool card. So as long as you're not applying this to an EX or a GX Pokemon, and you are behind on prize cards, this counts as two colorless energies, but of any type you want. So this could be a double dragon energy. This could be a, an electric and this could be a grass. You could switch them out every single turn. It doesn't matter as long as you're behind. If you're not behind, it just counts as one energy. So we have a mill tank. Spoink. Execute. Beedrill is our final card. Okay. Beedrill is looking cool. I like that Beedrill art a lot. Final pack, guys. So we're at three points. What can we do? What can we do? Is our full art going to happen? in this video, or is it going to happen in the bigger video that I will make right after this, actually? Let's see what we have here. We have a very, very angry looking Wigglytuff. Ooh, don't mess with the Wiggly. We have a Swine Up. Weedle. Uh, oh, Bunnelby turns into Diggersby, and our final card is a Beware Hollow Rare. That's another point. Very cool. I don't like they made Beware a holographic card, to be honest. Especially fighting type. I like Beware when it's normal type more. I'm that guy. But, here are our pools for this battle. We have one point here with the Beware Hollow Rare. Second point from our Red Eyes Hollow Rare. And another two points for the Gyarados GX. So in total, we have four points, according to our little point system that we created specifically for this video. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out Dora Bozzaro's video and her channel and subscribe to her channel because she's really cool. She's really nice. She's a fellow ghost enthusiast like myself. Um, yeah, love it. It's great stuff. You're going to love her content. I love her content. And if you like this, give it a like, big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Ring-a-ding-ding -ding, so you can get notifications for when I'm actually uploading. All right, guys, until the next video, which is likely going to be this one, I will see you guys in the hunt. Goodbye. Back, back, back from the dead.